Meteorite physical characteristics. Meteorites that collide with Earth exhibit certain characteristics that may be readily identifiable or not depending on the type of meteorite and how long it has been exposed to Earth's oxygen and water. Sometimes correct identification requires chemical analysis and careful evaluation by an expert. Here are a few characteristics that suggest a rock might be a meteorite. A rock might be a meteorite if it has these qualities. Fusion crust. Fusion crust thin black coating. Don't be fooled by black desert varnish common on rocks in desert regions, skin on volcanic rocks or artificial slag, or chemical reaction lines. Fusion crust is a thin black coating formed as a meteorite passes through Earth's atmosphere. Temperatures as high as 1000 degrees Celsius 1832 degrees Fahrenheit cause the outer part of the meteorite to melt. Upon exposure to Earth's oxygen and water, fusion crust weathers to a rusty brown color. Interior Interior looks different from the exterior fusion crust, in a cut area look for small, round objects the size of a poppy seed. Iron-nickel meteorites and some rare stony meteorites don't have these round objects. The interior usually looks different from the outer fusion crust. It won't necessarily look melted. Stony meteorites can range from a light gray color to black. Look for chondrules, tiny, 1 mm diameter, spheres. These may or may not be easily discernible depending on the meteorite type. Magnetism Uniform attraction to a magnet is strong in iron-nickel meteorites, weaker in stony meteorites. Beware, black, lumpy, magnetite-bearing earth rocks will attract a magnet, too. Most meteorites attract a magnet at least slightly in a uniform pull around the specimen. Iron-nickel meteorites strongly attract a magnet. Some meteorites are not noticeably magnetic. If the rock does not attract a magnet, look for a fusion crust. Density Density is usually higher than earth rocks, not always. Beware, some rocks and slags are very dense. So density is not a reliable meteorite indicator by itself. If the sample is dense, heavy for its size, is it metallic? The densest meteorites are the iron nickel and stony iron types, 7 to 8G slash CM3. Stony meteorites may or may not seem heavier than common terrestrial rocks. They range in density from 2G slash CM3 to 3.5G slash CM3. Metal, all or flex. Metal flex are found in most stony meteorites. Sometimes glints of light reflected from mica or other crystal faces are confused with flex of metal. Use a magnifier or microscope to distinguish. Small irregular flex of iron nickel metal and iron sulfide less than 1 mm across are important features of the most common stony meteorites known as chondrites. Iron nickel meteorites will exhibit a diagnostic crisscross Widmanstaten pattern when a cut surface is etched with a special acid mixture. Don't do this at home. See an example of the pattern in the magnetism panel above. Number of rocks. Number of rocks, good sign if yours is the only one like this in the area. Caution, rocks can erode out of geological strata and be transported by glaciers, rivers, and intermittent washes. Is your rock the only one of this appearance and type found in the area? There are few places in the world where more than one meteorite is found in a relatively small area. Therefore this is a practical guideline, not a strict criterion. A rock is not a meteorite if it has these qualities. Large vesicles Large vesicles are not found in meteorites. Vesicles are common in volcanic rocks and artificial slag. Meteorites generally do not exhibit gas bubbles or vesicles except at the microscopic level in the fusion crust. One meteoriticist estimates less than 1 in 1,000 meteorites might contain vesicles. Large crystals Large crystals such as quartz or amethyst do not exist in meteorites. Extra hint, geode-like. 